<sighs> the only reason I have so many safety razors currently because I make videos for YouTube reviewing them and letting you know which ones I like. Hi there, it's your boy Greg Tardiff. This is Shaving with Greg Tardiff, and I appreciate you joining me today. Ha <laughs> ha. Sorry, that was a bit weird, but who cares, right? Right. Who cares? Do you care? I think you could just have one safety razor. I had one safety razor for the first seven years that I was into traditional wet shaving. It's probably not the best choice, but it's one, one that I had and uh, I still have it. I still occasionally shave with it. It's just cheap and not the highest quality. So if I were to pick one today, which one would be my pick to just have the one razor? and actually pick five for suggestions for you. If you have others that you think other people might like, let us know in the comments because sharing is caring. That's what my daughter always says. Sharing is caring until I ask her for a cheese ball and she said, no, they're mine. So it's one-sided sharing, but we're adults, most of us. I'm kind of an adult. The first pick, and these are in no specific order, just going left to right in front of me. First one's actually two, because I have two, and they're vintage razors, they're Gillette razors, Fat Boy and a Slim. Now, the reason I have two, the Fat Boy here is of, in its original aesthetic. It's been cleaned up, obviously, because it's not all grungy, but it's nickel plated and a brass body, which has held up for a thousand years already, basically. And then the Gillette Slim that I have has been uh, reassembled and replated in rhodium, which is a little bit high dollars, about $190 that I got from Razor Emporium, but it's an adjustable razor, one to nine on both of these. So you can fine tune your shave, or if you like the idea of going from wide open to scaling it down to a more mild shave as you're doing your several passes, you can do that with these razors. When it comes to that fat boy though, Prices vary, quality varies, so just be careful. Buy from somebody that you know, or from a store you trust, like the Razor Emporium, or anything like that. That's all my recommendation there. This is the Alpha Outlaw, made by Alpha Shaving Company. They make really high quality brushes and razors. Uh, this one's full stainless steel, made in Hong Kong. They do have one that's being made in the United States coming soon called the Bandit. I haven't tried it, can't recommend it yet, but this one's, oh, about $136 or so. It's a high dollar item, but it's very worth it. It's uh, a bit aggressive or a bit efficient, but it's a good shave and it feels great in the hand and the weight's just perfect and it'll probably last 15 lifetimes. Number three for your boy Greg is the Edwin Jagger 316 stainless steel. 316, see? 316, 316 stainless steel. I guess that's a type of steel. Cool, right? Right. This one's definitely more mild than the Alpha Outlaw. Very nice razor. Skinnier handle, weight's good. Overall, it's just really solid shaver. The box comes with feather blades, and I do like the feather blades in this razor, where I don't like them in most other ones, aside from the leaf twig. Number four, it's actually gonna be, ooh, a combination of razors because they're all good choices I think for the one razor that you would need and they're all from Rockwell so the Rockwell T2 is an adjustable razor with a fluid motion adjustment head this one's really neat it's a twist to open top most adjustables are I suppose so that one's great if you want to fine-tune your shave whilst you're shaving and you don't want to take it apart for those that just set it and forget it like me the sixes from Rockwell. This is a stainless steel. It's kind of, it's not the prettiest razor in the world, but it'll last forever, I think. And to adjust this one, you just kind of unscrew, flip the comb over, and find your sweet spot for your face whilst shaving. And then the third one is the 6C. And this one is the less expensive option. I think it's like $40 or something. You get six different plate sides, just like on the sixes, uh, but it's a lesser quality, not made in North America. It shaves just fine. and seems like it'll probably last a good while, long while too. Number five is this Haircut and Shave Co. Tri-Metal Safety Razor. I was actually given this by Haircut and Shave Co., but that's not why it's on this list. If you decide to investigate these razors, 
uh, you can pick one up. Use code 10 hot dogs. You'll save 10% off the $190 price if that's what it's still at. And you'll get yourself a hell of a shaver and a really cool travel case. So this one is definitely more efficient than like the Edwin Jagger. I wouldn't say it's as efficient as the Outlaw, uh, but it's a good razor, titanium handle, aluminum comb, and stainless steel top cap. I will add one final razor that I have not even tried yet. The only reason I'm adding it is because my shaved bud, Jay, it seems to have just taken over as dentist the only razor he uses these days, and it's the uh, Rex console. I've used it and had the Rex Ambassador for a long time. That's a good one too. I don't have that anymore, but I, I would say just based off of his usage and the, I know what his den looks like, you know, I would say that that's probably a pick for the one if you were just to have one razor. It's a bit pricey, pretty much why I haven't pulled the trigger on it yet. I do appreciate you watching, and if you have any other recommendations or suggestions, you can throw those down in the comments and we can share. Because remember, sharing is caring. Goodbye.